the narrative that I had about myself, my self beliefs about my own self worth and capabilities and who I was as a person were shifting from, you know, highly energetic, um, you know, smart, works hard, fun, outgoing, um, extroverted to, you know, I believe that I was deeply introverted, didn't have friends, <coughs> didn't have thoughts. Um, and, and some of that was becoming true because I think one of the, the symptoms of mental health issues is that not only does your cognition change, but also the way your mind functions changes. And for me, very practically, what I found is it was harder to speak. Hmm. It was very difficult to write an email. I mean, I could barely write a few sentences, hmm. whereas today I could stream of consciousness write, you know, almost an essay if hmm. I had to. Um, and so I didn't notice those in the moment because they start to, that degradation, mm -hmm. that slipping, it happens actually far more subtly until I think you frankly hit an inflection point in which you fall off, fall off a, proverbially fall off a cliff. Okay. Yeah. And, and I think what's really challenging is that when you've fallen off the cliff, uh, it's much harder to do something like there, it's harder to find the silver bullet that is the remedy to find whatever that necessary prescription is. It's very hard to find the one silver bullet when you've fallen off the cliff versus if you had more awareness, mm -hmm. to your point earlier, you could think about different interventions sooner that seem smaller, less scary, and probably have a chance of being more efficacious in that moment.